Well here goes nothing. Well I'm going to be honest with all of you, this lengthy diatribe of a backstory is kinda necessary so you can get some kind of context as to the full scope of the situation. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm here RN, because I know I shouldn't be, but here I am. Okay so in 1995 I met this girl, my current wife. We dated throughout high school and like many high school romances there was some issue with both of us not remaining faithful. Eventually in 99 we called it quits and within a year I married her best friend and had a kid. Fast forward 8 years and my first wife had become a hardcore sea cane addict and was court ordered into treatment after a string of legal troubles. Upon discovery of my accounts being wiped out to fuel the drug binges I left. Within a week's time s it was crazy. This is roughly 2007 so social media didn't really exist like today, aside from MySpace and Classmates.com which I had received a message from my current wife saying she needed someone to talk to. So I reached out and over the course of two months we spoke regularly. She told me she had two kids and their father had beaten her with an eye chess of her life, tried to kill her newborn son throwing a brick through the front windshield of her car said she was mentally and physically abused the entire time so much so he would tie her up with extension cords and force her to sleep with him or he would put her in a closet. Real piece of acid kind of material. But I digress. Okay so fast forward another 12 years, it's like March of 2020, just before the pandemic and her daughter who would have been 15 informs us well me really that he's getting out of jail and she wants him paroled to our house. Yes, yeah, sorry kid but that ain't gonna fly. We had six other kids plus the two she had and the one I had. Is he supposed to sleep by our feet like a goddamn golden retriever? This is my first of many red flags as my wife proceeds to actually attempt to convince me that would be a good thing to show the kids we can all get along and be adults, and of course I feel like an ass but I don't budge. So while he doesn't move in and he gets a place just down the street and practically lives there anyways, and I tolerate it because my stepdaughter is a lot easier to be around. For a bit I can't lie things seem kinda okay. Then all of a sudden like out of nowhere my wife starts having serious mental health issues, like seeing dead people all over our kitchen walking into our refrigerator issues. Like swearing there was a 4 feet tiny woman living in the couch who came out to blow me when she would go to the bathroom. These are not exaggerations she was really going through it. One night in particular I went with the ex-husband to help him cut trees down for firewood, and this is where I began to see something wasn't what it seemed. As we are gathering wood, this one tree that he had partially cut suddenly broke and came swinging at me, and missed me by eye chess. Before it could even travel my way he's talking to my wife on phone telling her I had been seriously hurt. But I was fine. Chalked it up to paranoia on his part and let it go. Another time going to pick up pizzas with him he suddenly begins driving like a maniac stating he was watching us being followed for the last several minutes. He approached our house and the neighbors are in their cars chatting as neighbors do, and he proceeds to floor it and opens his door to roll out after grabbing the wheel so that the brunt of the impact is all on my side of the car. Again, shock to paranoia. So now my wife has suffered a miscarriage and is deeply distraught on top of spiraling mental health and the fact our landlord had collected a year of rent and never paid the mortgage so we were being put out by the county, I had convinced her to seek help and get meds. She did. Things turned back to kinda normal although brief. One late night early morning she starts to cry as we were getting pretty intimate she tells me she thinks she is still in love with him and she never processed all these feelings cause of him being in jail most of the last 13 years. This crushes me. Ducking destroys me. She begins spending alone time with him, time I wasn't aware was being spent. And then one day in at the house finishing packing she has to go get boxes from him. I say just go on drop me at the house to finish and just hurry up and get back. As I walk into the house, and she pulls off I hear someone walking around and I though it might have been my stepdaughter as I turn a corner I'm hit on the back of my head and drop to my knees and I'm hit two more times before I'm out. I come to. It's dark. No one has been back so now I'm panicked, disoriented, and without my cell phone. I walk to a store for some reason and try to call her but no answer. Look at a clock. It's been over two and a half hours. I go back to the house and sit for another 30 minutes and she pulls up. No boxes. She's on the phone with him when I tell her what happened. 
His cousin gets there in less than five minutes and he's another five behind him. I use the find my phone app and discover my phone as I can't prove or disprove this in the cousin's hand as he claims he stepped on it when he got out of his car. The whole thing is placed nicely at the feet of our neighborhood tweaker as there were large holes in the walls where copper pipes had been removed. But now I am seeing a pattern I had ignored due to blind loyalty to this woman. Another few weeks of the same, phone calls while asleep, and reasons to run into each other in public places every time she leaves the house. And I finally had enough and said I was done pretending this s it isn't going on that it has been for a long time and what is wrong with her just being so out there with it and of course I'm called everything you could think of and more. She causes a huge fight and leaves. She stayed at his house. She comes back and tells me she needs time to sort out her feelings I pay for three nights at a hotel. She promises me she is staying alone gives me a key and tells me the room was in my name I can come in at any time. Two hours pass and his girlfriend calls me asking if I had seen him. I proceed to tell her what is going on and we head out to the motel to check the situation out. His car is there. After I threw up for 40 minutes I decided I couldn't see with my own eyes what was going on in there. I had hacked her phone and installed some spying app and had messages photos call logs location history and couldn't bear to see it. So I called hotel security and told them I had a room and found two individuals in the room who wouldn't leave and could they remove them. And waited for her to call. Simultaneously I received a notification that the money we had been waiting for from a large investment we had made hit the account. 22k of extra money. I left her about 3500 told her to take everything she could get in one trip cause once she left she wasn't ever to come back. She takes the 3,500 and disappears for 22 days into Florida from Ohio with my daughters and this guy, his cousin and his girlfriend. Once they get to KY he calls and begins to tell me how they are getting remarried and basically gloat but in his arrogance he made a minor mistake. He said it didn't have to be like this, if you woulda just went quietly what tf do you mean? Well the paranoia sets in that she's trying to reach me to come get her in this and that and it explodes he beats her up and now she's stuck so safety net me gets them all home but now the cousin is feeling some type of way about me, and begins to cry and apologize over and over but won't tell me why or for what. Only says I need to protect my wife and family from A.P. On the way home AP is contacted by parole seems someone had posted all the pics from FL on Facebook and he forgot to ask to go. Once he's back he is met by cops who cuff him and take him to serve the final three years of his sentence. Now she wants to fix things she wants to do all this s it, but I'm still seeing calls from prison on the phone 3 comma 4, 5 times a day, 20 to 30 minutes each call. Every time she's gonna help with this and she's done then it's something else. I'm missing money constantly so I know it's going to him I just can't figure out what email she uses she covers her tracks after the spy up incident. She won't admit anything was going on prior to Florida but I know it's a lie. As I said I have messages and photos to prove otherwise but they're photoshopped. I know I should run but I'm stuck call it a habit call it no self respect whatever it is I'm quietly putting up with it but it's killing me. My hair has turned damn near white I'm only 41. I've lost roughly 30 pounds since this all happened back in April. I have a constant twitch shake, and I sleep roughly 5 or 6 hours a week. Health. Update. Okay so it's 5.33pm EST, and I've been home 20 minutes or so and I've read just about every comment posted and after I got home and noticed I was $50 lighter than I should have been I am done. I haven't seen her yet but I know she is here I can hear her on the phone. I've packed what I need immediately and I'm putting it in the car, going back inside and saying. WTF do I say cause in all reality it's not gonna change s it not like my words will kick her in the vag and wake her tf up so part of me just wants to bail and say nothing. I'm changing my cell phone number I have a meeting at 10 am with my attorney who knows a good divorce lawyer. I'm guessing staying at one of my stores or the restaurant isn't the best idea so not sure where I'm going but I will know when I get there. Huge update this is unbelievable. She got married initially on New Year's Eve of 2005, in a city roughly 5 miles from where we grew up, but in another state. When we were married, it was in our home state. She filed her divorce herself, using some website or some nonsense. Cost her $400. And it was a total scam. 
Now here in my home state we have a little law that states basically marriage trumps claims of paternity. So if you're married, you're automatically listed on any child your wife might deliver. She was never divorced. They've been married this whole ducking time. We never had a legal marriage. Legally, and as far as paying her child support I'm off the hook which means she isn't going to even attempt to try to keep them. What a ducking difference a day makes.